Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. And I was doing corporate training yesterday and someone asked me a question about sorting that was so fantastic. I wanna share it with you here, both the question and then the way that we got to an answer. And the question started off with, what if I have a list of strings and the strings contain letters and numbers. So it's something like my list equals like A1 and B2 and C3, but also A10 and B5 and C6. And we want to sort these within letters, sort them first by letter and then by number. So I wanna to talk to you about what I would do to approach this and how I would think about it, but we've gotta talk about it in a few different ways. So let's start off by talking just about sorting in general. I'm gonna say here, import random, and then I'm gonna create a list. Let's say numbers equals, I'm even gonna do a random seed zero just so it's reproducible, and I'm gonna say here, random randint between minus 50 and 50, say four i, in range 10. So we're gonna get 10 random integers between minus 50 and 50, and we see we have numbers, fantastic. What happens if I wanna sort these? Well, I can use the built-in sorted function, sorted of numbers, and it does not change the original list. It gives me back a new list with them sorted from lowest to highest. And we can see here from minus 45 all the way to 50. So far, so good. What happens if I wanna sort strings? So I can say here words equals, this is a bunch of words for my demonstration on YouTube. I do a split there. And now I say sorted of words. And we see that it did sort the words alphabetically or lexicographically, meaning according to the ASCII values. So capital letters always, or I should say Unicode values nowadays, right? We're in 2024, we're not in the 1960s anymore, or so I hear. And basically, if we start, anything that starts with a capital letter will come first, because if I say here, what's the ORD of capital T, that's 84, whereas the ORD of lowercase t is gonna be 116. And so all capital letters come before our lowercase letters, that's why it's sorted with all capital letters before. Can I sort lists? That is say a list of lists, yes. If I say my list equals, and I'm gonna say here something like 10, 20, 30, and I'm gonna say here five, 15, minus 10, and then I'm gonna say here five, 12, six, and I'm gonna say here 10, seven, eight. I now have a list of lists. And what happens if I say sorted of my list? Well, before I answer, let's look at what happened with the strings here. What happens with the strings is that Python takes, or the sorted function looks at the first letter, uh, it compares two words at a time, and compares their first letters. If the first letter is exactly the same, then we have to go to the second letter and compare. If the second letter is the same, we go into the third letter, and so on and so forth, until either one is shorter and thus wins, or one of them comes before the other. If that sounds similar to how we look up words in a dictionary, that's because, well, for those of you old enough to know what a dictionary is, that's how we would do it. That's how we check things alphabetically. And so if you think about it as a generalized algorithm for comparisons, we're checking index zero, then we're checking index one, then we're checking index two until we either run out of indexes with one of them or there's a winner. That's exactly what happens when we sort lists as well exactly what happened with strings can happen with lists. And so it's gonna compare the thing at index zero, and then it's gonna check, is there a tie? If so, it's gonna check index one. So here we have five, then 12, and here we have five, then 15. And then we have 10 and seven, and then 10 and 20. So when we compared five with 10, obviously the fives come first, but when both of them start with five, we get five first, and then 12, and then 15. So basically, Python's able to compare anything that, ha that handles less than. If we have the equal equal operator, which is true for basically everything, and we have then less than, which allows us to compare, we're gonna be okay. Where does this start to break down? Well, what if I say here, let me go back to my numbers here, and I'm gonna do something a little crazy. I mean, it's not that crazy, right? I'm gonna turn, let's get, get these numbers, random numbers, as strings, meaning I'm gonna say here numbers equals stir of this thing. And so now we have all these numbers. Okay, what if I say sorted of numbers? Oh, actually, let's do, let's do serve abs, well, I'll just do here stir of, let's do between zero and 100. I don't need that minus sign as well. And now if I sort them, it looks a little weird. 100 comes before 33, 
which comes before 38, which comes before 49, which comes before 5. What the heck is going on? And the answer is that we have strings here. No longer is Python comparing them as integers. Python is now comparing them as strings. And as such, it's checking index 0, comparing the two. Whichever comes first is great. So 100 comes before 33 because 1 comes before 3. And 49 comes before 5 because 4 comes before 5. It is not sorting them numerically. It is sorting them lexicographically. It's sorting them alphabetically, basically. So with all of this in mind, what my student asked me was, she has a list, as I mentioned before, of letters and numbers. And those numbers are sometimes two digits, digits and the letters can be, let's call it A through C. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my numbers, and I'm going to take exactly what I have here, and we have 10 of those. So I'm now going to say, uh, let's do this. Let's create a bunch of strings. Let's create a list of 10 strings containing you know, A, B, and C, and then these numbers. So I'm going to do A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A. So I'm going to say here, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A. Well, and then I want numbers. How can I combine these into something? Well, I can say here zip of that. And zip takes two iterables and turns them into, well, we're not going to see it, so I'll do as a list here, into this list of things. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to say here, I'm going to do a for, uh, we'll say here, letter and number in this zip thing. I'm going to sort of do something, I'm going to do the opposite. So I'm going to say here now, I'm going to do an F string based on letter and number. So what I'm going to get now is a list of letters and numbers together. Fantastic. This is exactly what we wanted. This is what my student has in her work. And what she wants to do is first sort by letter and then sort by number, but numerically. So if I just say sorted of my list, what is Python going to do? Well, it's going to take the first character and then the second character, and the third character. So A will come first, then B will come second, then C will come third. That is good. But the numeric part is totally messed up. So what are we going to do? How are we going to deal with this? Well, in this particular case, we know that the first character is a letter. And then the rest of the characters are digits. We don't know how many they'll be, because there might be one or two or three, but there are going to be some digits there. So here's what I'm going to do. I want to get this. I want to get this into a form that I can sort, which could be a, how about, a list of two element tuples. So first element will be a one character string, and the second element will be an integer. So how am I going to do that? Well, once again, I'm going to use a list comprehension. You can see that I love list comprehensions. Who doesn't? Well, except for everyone. Well, except for everyone who hasn't learned how to do them correctly. All right. So I'm not going to say for one item in my list. That's going to be the iteration I do in my comprehension. What do I want to get out? I want to get out a tuple. Right? So what is that tuple going to have? Well, I'm going to say one item, zero. That's going to be my string. And if I just do that, here we have that one, a uh, one element tuple. Notice that I have to have the comma here for the tuple to, for it to be a tuple. And I have that first thing. Then I can say here, comma, one item, one until the end. And now I have that, but those are strings. So I can say here, int of one item until the end. Now I have those tuples. I now have a list of tuples that if I say, let's do, you know, my, let's do new list equals this. And now if I say sorted, of new list look at that it's now sorted first by letter and then by number and it's actually sorted by number by integer so we don't have to worry about the crazy string sorting stuff so i hope this was interesting and useful i hope that you saw that these core data structures in python really allows to do amazing manipulations if you just know how to sort of apply them sorted can work in all sorts of interesting ways and list comprehensions are amazing Hope this was useful and interesting. Let me know what you think. Let me know what challenges you're having with Python because I'd love to address them here. And I'll be back soon with more videos about Python, pandas, and everything in between.